ਆਂਟਾਰੀਓ ਦੇ ਮਿਊਨਿਸਪਲ ਅਫੇਅਰਸ ਤੇ ਹਾਊਸਿੰਗ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਸਟੀਵ ਕਲਾਰਕ ਨੇ ਹਾਊਸਿੰਗ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਸਿਸ ਗ੍ਰੀਨ ਬੈਲਟ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਸ਼ਨ ਤੇ 8 ਵਾਰ ਵਿਆਜ ਦਰਾਂ ਚ ਵਾਧੇ ਤੇ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਸਾਂਝੇ ਕੀਤੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਹੀ ਘਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਘਾਟ ਨੂੰ ਪੂਰਾ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਵੱਲੋਂ 15 ਲੱਖ ਘਰ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਾਲਾਂ ਚ ਬਣਾਉਣ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਜ਼ੋਰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਅਤੇ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਤਰੀਕਿਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਘਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਘਾਟ ਦੀ ਸਮੱਸਿਆ ਦਾ ਹੱਲ ਕੱਢਿਆ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਗੱਲ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਵਿਚਾਰਾਂ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਲੋਕ ਘਰ ਖਰੀਦਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਸਪਲਾਈ ਚ ਵਾਧਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਹੀ ਘਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਕੀਮਤ ਘਟ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਬਿਲਡਰਸ ਨਾਲ ਮਿਲ ਕੇ ਇਸ ਸਮੱਸਿਆ ਦਾ ਹੱਲ ਕੱਢਿਆ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਮੁੱਦੇ ਤੇ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਸਟੀਵ ਕਲਾਰਕ ਨੇ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਕੀਤੀ Brampton's one of the fastest growing cities in Canada and it it's a clear example of what makes our country and our province great. Uh whenever I get a chance to uh, to come to the city, I'm I'm really inspired by uh the people who live here, who have chosen our province as their home, uh and their immense talents, uh, qualifications and hard work uh, to make a better life here in this city and in our province. but i know that uh, building a better life isn't always easy especially when it comes to the difficulty too many ontarians are finding um in terms of getting a home that meets both their needs and their budget and that's really why i'm here today and that's the subject uh that i think is uh, most of a priority in our communities our government is laser focused on ending ontario's housing supply crisis by making making it both both cheaper and easier uh to get a shovel in the ground and build a new home. Last year, our housing affordability task force set a target of building 1.5 million homes by 2031. It was a plan that under the leadership of Premier Ford, we promised Ontarians that a re-elected government under his um leadership uh would put a plan in place to ensure that we hit that 1.5 million homes. uh and that our government would have a housing supply action plan every year in a re-elected government. We know that to either to meet or to beat that target uh to make housing attainable is a, is a lofty goal. And in the last few months our government has taken many actions to try to deal with that. One of them is something that I think you all want to talk about and that's our <coughs> our bill more homes built faster. uh also our better municipal governance act which is looking at regional governments such as uh here in the region of peel how we can support uh a growing uh, region and our changes to the green belt which will um provide us the opportunity to build a minimum of 50,000 homes and also expand the green belt by over 2,000 acres i know that our efforts haven't always been fully understood that's again one of the reasons why i'm here in brampton today and i'd like to uh, give you a chance to uh, to have the three of us answer questions from the government um we also want to dispel some of the rumors uh, that are out there in our communities above all i w- i want to make it clear that the government under the leadership of premier ford uh with the full support of all of the brampton mpps uh we we want to work together collaboratively with our municipal partners but this is a housing supply crisis and we need to do everything in in our power uh, at the provincial level to create a climate that's going to get shovels in the ground faster and put us on a path where we can get those million and a half homes built uh, by 2031 so um we want to make sure that bramptonians and ontarians have a safe secure place that they can call home that's the motive that the three of us as MPPs are here to talk to you about Minister Steve Clark ne Prime Asia TV walo puche gaye sawalan de jawab dende hoye kiha since inflation is 6.3% right now and Bank of Canada's recent today's announcement about 25 basis point increase rate hike being a minister what do you think is that the Bank of Canada is on a right track uh, burdening Canadians where they cannot afford a home because minimum wage is $16 and inflation is 6.3% and uh, again a rise with giving a hint that uh, this will be uh, last in a row eighth consecutive time which is i don't think uh, ever ever anywhere in the world it happened that eight time in a row the in- uh, interest rate uh, was being uh, hiked so being a minister what do you think is a right decision by bank of canada or there were some other alternatives also to tackle the inflation instead of uh, burdening the canadians well and that's a great question we're in a in a, in a tremendously difficult fiscal time obviously when i first got involved in municipal politics was in the early 80s so i i have a bit of experience with dealing with the uh, high interest rates and fiscal challenges uh at the municipal and provincial level 
I, I can only speak from a provincial perspective. There are things that are going to be out of my control, right? Uh, Canadian inflation, um, the interest rate changes, those are out of our control as provincial politicians. So what can we control? We can control things that are under our purview. And the Housing Affordability Task Force gave us that long-term roadmap uh, as, uh, as a government to, to put in place to create the climate for 1.5 million homes. And that's why we were honest, open, and transparent with Ontarians during the election, that we said that if, if uh, our government was going to be re-elected, uh, Premier Ford said, you know, we want to put that plan in place. So that's why we've been, been so aggressive in our housing supply action plan, both the, the first one I did, More Homes, More Choice, in 2019, and, and the results were good. You know, we had a high, um, housing starts. In 2021, we had the highest housing starts uh, we had had in over 30 years. We had over 100,000 housing starts. I knew because of some of those market forces like you're talking about that we weren't going to get the 100,000 level this year. We just missed it, right? We just were under 100,000 uh, in 2022. Market forces are even stronger for 2023. So what do, we, what do we need? We need to ensure that when the economy improves, when inflation and interest rates are, are corrected back, that we've put every policy in place at, that we can as provincial legislatures, legislators to get shovels in the ground and create the climate with our mayors and our councils across the province. That's why you're going to see not just the initiatives that we've done in the legislature, but we're going to have more. But I'm very concerned about those forces that are really outside of provincial or municipal jurisdiction. It's a, it's a concern and it does have an impact on housing starts. Uh, follow up uh, for the Green Belt project uh, question. Uh, there are many critics. They are uh, not happy with this decision of the government of the Green Belt. How confident are you and your government is about that nothing, uh, nothing, uh, no wrongdoing has been done? And also, uh, in case you want to comment on the, because you are a housing minister for the province and there is an allegation on the uh, housing minister for the federal uh, and there is a, in the Green Belt, there is a allegation on the, uh, these Green Belt projects also, if you can collaborate and comment on that. Yes, yeah, so we, we're, I'm going to continue to assist um, both the Integrity Commissioner and the Auditor General uh, with their investigations. The Integrity Commissioner has already uh, dismissed uh, the allegation against the Premier and I that we personally benefited, so that's, that's, that's false. Um, I'm going to continue to to tell you the same thing outside of the legislature that I said inside the legislature. At no time uh, did I give any advance notice uh, to anyone, and I'm confident that uh, the investigations are going to um, support um, you know my comments. Um, also, on the Auditor General piece, it is a value for money audit, and I think the best value for money in the middle of a housing supply crisis is that we get those 50,000 homes at a minimum uh, being built on those lands, and at the same time, we're growing the green belt by 2,000 acres. So I'm going to continue to to work diligently. I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm not well versed in some of the federal uh, situation with the minister who sent, so I really can't you know I can't comment on something I don't know the details on. But what what I can say on the details around um, what's happening with the integrity commissioner and the auditor general is I'm confident that at the end of the day and at the end of the investigations that uh, things will be upheld and it will show that we uh, we follow things appropriately and i'm and i'm i'm going to continue to work with them on that prime asia tv dekhte sare darshakano mere vallon hardeep singh garewal vallon pyar preet sat sri kal aaj aap ikatthe hoye hain with the dreams convention center jithe huni ek press conference wrap up hoyi hai with minister steve clark te aap gal baat kiti hai on building more homes faster in Ontario. So our plan is to build 15,000,000 homes in the next year. And we have talked about the measures that we are taking. And we hope that we have answered the questions in this press conference. But we want to answer the basic plan that we are going to cover. We want to buy the homes that we are going to buy. We want to buy the homes that we are going to buy. We want to buy the homes that we are going to buy. We want to buy the homes that we are going to buy. We want to buy the homes that we are going to buy. We want to buy the homes that we are going to buy. We want to buy the homes that we are going to buy. We want to buy the homes that we are going to buy. We want to buy the homes that we are going to buy. 
ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਜੇ ਸਪਲਾਈ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਾਧਾ ਆਵੇ ਤਾਂ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਨੈਚੁਰਲੀ ਉਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਡੀਕਰੀਸ ਆਊਗਾ ਅਸੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਵੀ ਸਾਡੀ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੀ ਪੀੜ੍ਹੀ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੀ ਜਨਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਵੀ ਸੌਖਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਘਰਾਂ ਘਰ ਖਰੀਦਣ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਸੋ ਉਸ ਲਈ ਇਹ ਨਵੇਂ ਰੂਲਸ ਸੈੱਟ ਕੀਤੇ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਟ੍ਰੀਮਲਾਈਨ ਕਰ ਸਕੀਏ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸ ਥਰੂ ਆਰ ਆਂਟੇਰੀਓ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੀ ਸਪੀਡ ਵੀ ਵਧਾ ਸਕੀਏ ਤਾਂ ਕਰਕੇ ਬਿਲਡਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪੰਜ ਸੱਤ ਸਾਲ ਅਡੀਕਣ ਨਾ ਪਵੇ before getting shovels on the ground so we had a great press conference here with a lot of our local media here in Brampton talking about the need to build houses um one of the biggest things that we heard uh even in halloween and uh uh in holiday times are, are where are all the kids you know where are all the trick or treaters and uh the reality is that a lot of young families are getting priced out of the same neighborhoods that they grew up in uh the average home in in Brampton cost over a million dollars in august Um we have a huge problem here when you look at uh young uh families uh in their mid 20s and and their their early 30s trying to buy a home uh and new Canadians coming to our country. So uh we know that we're going to build 1.5 million homes over the next 10 years. It's going to really help regulate that supply market. The minister was here to share some details uh, about that plan here today and we're going to make sure that uh the dream of uh home ownership, the Canadian dream uh is attainable for uh future generations.